Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is a quick follow-up video regarding the AJRC Zeus 35 all-in-one flight controller which I reviewed a few days ago. On my previous test I was using the DJI Air unit and since the Zeus 35 does not feature an onboard 9V or 12V BAC I was limited to 4S batteries. Now in order to complete the test and see if the Zeus 35 can handle a 5-inch build and 6F batteries I replaced the DJI Air unit with the Rush FPV Tank Race VTX and the Cadex Retail camera. As you can see, we are now left with plenty of space in the middle of the quadcopter, which makes it a quite unique build. The weight of this build without a battery is 297.8 grams, which is about 40 grams lighter than before when it was equipped with the DJI Air unit. Including the CNHL 1500 mAh for a sniper battery, it weighs 478.8 grams. Including a 5S 1500 mAh lipo battery, it weighs 531.2 grams. And including this CNHL 1300 mAh 6S lipo battery, it brings us to a total weight of 534.3 grams. After testing it out, I'm glad to tell you that the Zeus 35 could handle 4, 5 and 6S lipo batteries without any issues, and the only issue that I encountered is that its onboard current sensor is not working properly, and unfortunately I didn't manage to calibrate it. In addition, in the flight footage that you are about to see, I also experimented flying this build using a home-built 4S 3000mAh lithium-ion battery pack, and I got about 10 minutes of flight time, and even though I was just cruising around at about 40% throttle, it's still pretty impressive. So overall, as far as I can tell, in case you're looking for a very compact 6S capable all-in-one flight controller for your next 5-inch build, you should definitely check out the Zeus 35, just make sure to know its limitations, which I've mentioned in my previous review. I'm going to wrap up this video with some flight footage, and again, remember that the current values that you're about to see in the on-screen display are not accurate. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye.